now uh, about me first okay currently working as an application security engineer at cognition uh, my like work includes uh, penetration testing engagements uh, which are uh, like internet uh, i mean internet work as well as uh, web application uh, most of my time goes around web application pts only uh, apart from that i'm like uh, interested in red teaming which is basically like active directory pen testing and all and all the offensive side of security uh, currently i hold uh, three certifications uh, certified red team expert certified red team professional and ejpt elan security junior penetration tester so the scope of the demo is web application security oas top 10 and commonly used tools and techniques okay so uh, basically the course goes through a uh, introduction to the web applications security is and risk oas top 10 attacks and defense like injection broken authentication and session management cross site scripting uh, indirect object references mess configuration of security exposure of sensitive data cross site request forgery unvalidated redirects and forwards so oas is basically a non profit foundation Uh, dedicated to improving software security it operates under an open community model which means that anyone can participate and and contribute to oasp related online chats projects and more uh, this oasp top 10 is basically a project which provides rankings and remediation guidance for the top 10 most crucial web application security risks uh, leveraging the extensive knowledge and experience of oasp community contributors this report is based on a consensus among security experts from around the world so basically all the security experts gather in and uh, rate the risks and vulnerabilities and then it's uh, the top 10 is released okay so it takes time uh, the last one that was released was on 2017 after that uh, the next one came on 2021 recently so uh, the purpose of the report is to offer developers and web application security professionals insight into the most prevalent security risks so that they may fold the report's findings and recommendations into their own security practices thereby minimizing the known pres- presence of known risks in their application uh basically uh, this is very useful since uh, as soon as uh, a web application is released it uh, che- uh, the web the penetration testers check for it check for uh, vulnerabilities in the application using this so this serves as a checklist and helps uh, secure uh, web applications from outside risks and defenses also it is integrated into the top like into the software development cycles these days to uh, work in in with the uh, devops and provide these tech ops to the developers now uh, our other topics we would be covering are the was top 10 topics which are not listed there and uh, that doesn't mean uh, our the whole demo is centered around was uh, basically uh, we'll be learning about web applications as well not from a developer's point of view but from a security personal point of view which means basically you will be seeing application from the outside and a little code and trying to figure out if some vulnerabilities exist or not okay also you will be scripting with python just because uh, once you understand python a little uh, that will help you uh, for long term to uh, create your own uh, code create your own basically develop your own uh, back and uh, reverse shells and all and that will help you in the long run when uh, when you're attacking uh, a website to basically defend against it okay so uh, you'll know how websites work exactly the internal structure and that you won't look from the inside on like seeing the code and all you look it from the outside and try to figure out how exactly websites are working now uh, it's related to security and the first part of security is auditing auditing means basically uh, you'll be trying to uh, know all the vulnerabilities in the de- on the web application that how will you do okay so basically some tools that are very common in the market now are 
Kali Linux, Bob Suit, OAS, Zap, Dub, Turbuster, and many more are there. But we'll be going through uh, these tools first and others as well, like GoBuster, and XSS, Scanner, etc. Okay. Uh, there will be other like automated scanners as well, like uh, Nessus and uh, OAS Zap is also automated scanner which was developed by OAS people only. So now coming to the projects, what projects will be doing on? So there is an open source code figure labs which is accessible to everyone, and this is just for learning purpose. So we'll be the first project we'll be going through is an XSS attacks. Every XSS attack possible on the port Google Labs will be completing that. We'll be then moving to SQL injection because these things are more important to be completed. After that, we'll be completing the other uh, vulnerabilities like uh, broken authentication, broke IDOR, server side uh, request forgery, client side request forgery, etc. We'll be looking at every uh, kind of attack possible uh, and get knowledge on that. Because once you get knowledge on the attacks possible, you'll figure out why the attack is working. And then uh, you'll be able to defend the application as well. Uh, now the lab setup is uh, fairly simpler, simple. You'll be requiring a 8 GB RAM to set up the Kali we need for. That's why you require minimum 8 GB RAM. 100 gigabytes of storage because again, Kali Linux might be installed on, will be installed on your computer. Well, apart from that, we'll need a high speed laptop, high speed internet, and a desktop and laptop. Moving ahead, uh, we'll, uh, the resources we'll be providing you with are the presentation slides, further materials to improve your knowledge on OS, top 10, etc., and also sample resumes so that you could understand how. Uh, security person right, uh, creates his own resume. And uh, we'll be helping you with uh, like how to build your resume, how to build your skills, everything. Now uh, we'll be completing, like after completion of the course, we'll, we'll be conducting mock interviews for you guys so that you can understand uh, like uh, where your shortcomings are and we'll also be able to evaluate you guys. Okay. And that will help you in the interviews because uh, you'll be facing uh, people who know more than you, and hence uh, that is the best way to, uh, like mock interviews are the best way to complete, like understand what the other person might ask and all. And personally, I have been through multiple interviews, so I know a lot. <laughs> so uh, next comes certifications you can apply for, like after the completion of the course. Uh, EJPT is a certification you can go ahead and do it. EWPT is also a very good certification you could go ahead and do, but a little bit of knowledge, more knowledge might be required for that, but you'll be able to do it, I guess. Burpsuit Practitioner is also a very good certification you can go ahead with, and there are more uh, web application-centric certifications you can follow. Uh, 